Hello viewers, welcome to my channel Pharmacy Pedia. In this session, we are going to discuss in detail about NABL. NABL stands for National Accreditation Board for Testing and Calibration of Laboratories. So this is the specific department from DST, which is having the whole sole responsibility for the conducting the testing and calibration of the various laboratories situated in India. So let us try to further explore about the different detailings of the NABL. So when we talk about the NABL, NABL is situated in the Gurgaon. So this is the NABL stands for National Accreditation Board for Testing and Calibration of Laboratories. Now what is the function of this board? This accreditation board is used for testing and the calibration of the laboratories. So it is an autonomous society which is providing the accreditations of technical competence for testing, calibration, medical laboratories, proficiency testing providers and reference material producers. So these are the body, this is the body, government body which is providing accreditation to various laboratories after testing them thoroughly, after conducting their formal audits. Now NABL has the agreements with the ILAC and APLAC. ILAC is the International Laboratory Accreditation Conference and APLAC represents the Asia Pacific Laboratory Accreditation Corporation. So we can say that NABL is having the global standards since it is having the international accreditations and it is it is at par with the global level. So this is an autonomous body which is set up under the edges of the Department of Science and Technology Government of India and is registered under the Society Act. So since it is a government body, it is having the whole kind of the ability, whole kind of the setup to assess the different laboratories in India for and check for their quality and consistency for their results. So the concept of laboratory accreditation was developed in order to means provide the third party certifications for checking the competence of the laboratories to perform certain specific type of the testings. We understand that laboratories all over India perform different types of the testing. Now they do need to maintain some sort of the standards. They do need to have the certain competence to ensure that the analysis carried by them is as per the international standard or not. This can only be done once there is an organization who can look after these laboratories. So NABL is that organization which is set up with the government intervention and this looks after the accreditation process across the whole India for the uh, for the specifically for the laboratories. Now these laboratories are further divided into different categories for example medical laboratories or like science laboratories or the engineering laboratories. So uh, they are having the sole purpose to check the competence of these laboratories. Now when we talk about the NABL we should first understand what is the vision and the mission of the NABL. So and the vision of the NABL is to be the world's leading accreditation body and to enhance the stakeholders confidence in its services. So it simply says that it wants to reach to the global standards and it wants to have the stakeholder confidence that they are carrying out the operation accreditation process as per the quality control management system and they have the confidence that once if any laboratory is provided accreditation from the NABL that clearly indicates that it is having the adequate quality standards to represent at per the global level. Now what is the mission? How this vision has to be fulfilled? To strengthen the accreditation system accepted across the globe by providing high quality value driven services fostering APLAC, ILAC, MRA and paneling competent assessors, creating awareness among the stakeholders and also initiating new programs, supporting accreditation activities and pursuing organizational excellence. So it simply says that it tries to fulfill the vision by having the different awareness programs, building the conference, having more tie up with the accreditation bodies across the world and providing the high quality assessment techniques. Now, what are the benefits of this accreditation? So, whenever any laboratory is granted accreditation from the NABL, it simply specifies that it is having that reputation. It is able to perform, it is able to test and provide the correct reports of the 
and it is having competency of evaluating it correctly. So formal recognition of competence of a laboratory by an accreditation in accordance with the international criteria. So again, it has many advantages. First of all, a high level of confidence is being generated. The reports, if uh, we take the testing report from any real accredited laboratory, it simply means that we will have be having more confidence in trusting the report generated by these laboratories. Moreover, there would be better control of the laboratory operation process and feedback to the laboratory because once you have to get the accreditation from the NABL, you have to fulfill the minimum requirements, you have to stand at the global level and you have to make the proper documentation, you have to conduct the test thoroughly and you have to repeat the test and then you have it has to be reported in a proper way. So again, there would be potential increases in the business due to enhanced customer confidence. So once the reports generated are of high level standards and it is being assumed that the report would be 100% correct, in that case, it also raises the con consumer confidence. So once the consumer confidence is uh, raised, that simply means that the laboratory is fully functional and it is able to meet the customer requirements and is having more customer satisfaction. So users for the accredited laboratories enjoy greater access for their products in both domestic and the international markets. So saving in terms of the time and the money due to the reduction or elimination of the need for retesting of the product. If any laboratory is not able to get the NABL accreditation, it simply means that it is not following the standard norms and practices. The reports generated by them may, may have errors. And in that case, you need to perform the retestings. And like if you have to perform the retesting, you have to spend more time and more energy. So that is the benefit which any NABL accredited laboratories enjoy, they have higher confidence level, their report generated are 100% true and they internationally compete with the other laboratories to get the samples tested over there. Now, what are the different terms which are associated with the testing, calibration and management system? For testing, it simply means the examination of a product design, product service, product or, or plant and determination of their conformity with the specific requirements. Calibration is a set of operations which under specified conditions establishes the relationship between values which are indicated by a measuring system and the corresponding known values of a measured. So like a calibration is performed uh, on a regular basis on different sets of the equipment to ensure that they are able to give the repetitively the same results. So there is no deviation in the results. Now accreditation is a process of granting the whole soul, uh, whole soul uh, you can say control over that and building the confidence that the laboratory is performing at per the global level standards. So let us try to figure out the difference between certification versus accreditation. Certification is a process whereby it does not talk about the technical competence of the laboratory. Whereas when we say accreditation, it talks about the technical competence. Now this has to be checked in certain ways. So accreditation is a formal declaration by a neutral third party that the certification program is administered in a way that it meets the relevant norms or the standards of the certification programs. So it simply means once a laboratory is accredited, it simply means that it is actually implementing that certification values. So whatever certifications they have achieved, they are actually following them resulting in, in building the customer confidence and they are truly obeying to that normal standards. So where certification is a simple process of comprehensive evaluation of a particular process, system or the product. So it, the accreditation is a higher level advanced version of the certification. So accreditation is independent evaluation of the laboratory technical competence. Now what are the different steps for obtaining the testing laboratory accreditation? So the first step involves the application along with the accreditation fees, followed by the assessment of the testing laboratory, followed by the review of the assessment report, then the report is, after assessment is recommended by the accreditation committee. If everything is found fine, then the, it, it gets the approval of the accreditation committee and this uh, accreditation remains for the two years. So it is having the validity of the two years. So this is the formal process being followed for getting the NEP accreditation to any laboratory. 
so uh, everything is online so like app application of the accreditation can be placed by the laboratory then after that immediately they are given acknowledgement and the scrutiny of the application is done by the nabl secretariat after that adequacy of the quality manuals by the lead assessor is being done followed by the pre assessment of the laboratory by the lead lead assessors followed by the final assessment of laboratory by assessment team and followed by the scrutiny of the assessment report Now, what are the scope of these NABL accreditations? So, NABL grants accreditation in almost all areas of the science, engineering, and medical testing. So, the international standards followed are like for, but specifically for the medical testing, they follow the guideline ISO 15189 2007. For testing and the calibration, they follow ISO IEC 17025 2004 guidelines. And for third party providers, they follow the guidelines ISO 17043 2010. So these are the different set of the guidelines being established at the global level which have been tested for different kinds of the laboratories. Now what are the benefits of the accreditation to consumer? So as a layman, as a consumer, you get several benefits once you get your laboratory accredited by the NABA. So like you are having more uh, more consumer approach in a way that consumer nowadays search for NABL accredited laboratory. So if your laboratory is lab, uh, NABL accredited, it simply means that you are attracting more number of the customers. Their confidence level would definitely be high and the customers would also get the services by the credential st staff. The reason being is that that when you get the NABL certification, they want that you follow the post services also. So like you will get later on services also and they would be saving in terms of the time and money as you don't need to get it retested. So a single test report is sufficient to trust to build up the confidence that that test has been conducted in a proper way. Now, what is the benefit of accreditation to the laboratory? So, it can utilize the symbol of NABL for accreditation. It would have international recognition. There will be more satisfaction of the staff over working over there. There would be continuous improvement of the system and the process flow. There would be systematic control of the lab work, followed by the benchmark with the best laboratories in the world. And there definitely, there would be rise in the business. So, these are the certain advantages any laboratory get once they get the NABL accreditation. Thank you so much for watching my video. Please do like, share and subscribe to my channel Pharmacy PDF for getting further updates. In case of any doubt or query, please provide your views in the comment box. Thank you so much.